Oh man, we're gonna be a rich, a real life ghost. Yeah, just, just hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you? Get, get, get back here! Hello everyone. Today we are talking about Killer Ratings, the tabletop game that has you taking the role of a crew of ghost hunters as they go on their most important haunt yet. Uh, it's important in really two ways. Uh, first of all, the ratings are low, and if they don't get an actual true manifestation of a ghost, they're, they're probably going to get canceled. I mean, who wants that? Also, secondly, like the, some of them might like not make it back from this, but like the ratings right like the ratings are more important than a life but let's, you know but really um killer ratings is a fantastic game and i'm very excited to be talking about it i used to work on film crews and documentaries and all that kind of stuff so i'm familiar with the whole crew setting and it's something that i'm very familiar with so that already has me excited uh but also in college i actually went to a ghost hunting meeting that was in the attic of a diner which is very strange but a memory of like ghost hunters were fighting alien ufo chasers it was a wild experience uh but i've never been able to find something that has kind of captured that drama that emotion of those two things together and i think killer ratings does a really good job at it and there's actually a couple things in this game that i really think are really brilliant uh, that i want to talk about so uh, let's do just that the first thing that i like about killer ratings is the structure of this game a lot of tabletop games you'll go into a session not really sure what's going to happen like think of a D, &D game you know it's going to start and it's going to end eventually but what's in between can be really whatever which can be a good thing or a bad thing i personally when i like to create stuff or play games i kind of like to have an idea of what's going to happen i think that little bit of restraint and i'm going to really emphasize that little bit because i don't think this game is restrictive at all um really helps you amplify your creativeness so killer ratings is broken into three acts and then a finale between those acts and the finale are commercial breaks the commercial breaks are kind of these built-in things where you actually take a break and just have a conversation with the players uh, which are the actors or the faces at this point and uh the game master is actually called a director which i love side note great so like i said super simple structure your act one is going to be your buildup of the haunted whatever place you're going to we'll say typical haunted house for this example um in that haunted house in act one you'll be going room by room uh with everyone kind of describing what's happening in this room what scary things might be going on um and that's really your first act uh, and i really like that this game really emphasizes uh when you are playing as the director to kind of ask questions like you're on a film set ask the face of the operation like what they see ask the cameraman what they're looking at it's it's great it's a really gets everyone kind of into the atmosphere right away uh, this is the haunted house then you have your first commercial break act two is when things get actually paranormal and scary and the ghost appears uh you are now the rooms are looking getting a little bit weirder as you're explaining it act two is about the escalation Act three, it is incredibly escalated. Ghost is now real and is going to try to come after the players, uh, the actors. And then the finale in which the players now have to escape the haunted house by going through all the rooms they created. So whenever you run killer ratings, you'll know what's going to happen. You'll know that there's a three acts in the finale, but that's wonderful. That's great. I It's great for one shots, which on the cover, this is called a one shot improv RPG, which it really does that. So you know what you're getting into. And I think it's just great. Uh, the collaborative storytelling of this structure and just having everyone together kind of creating this and then backtracking and trying to survive. It's great. Going off that note, the second thing that I really like about this is that you can really play this with anyone. It doesn't matter if the, your players have experience with tabletop games uh, or not uh, because this game is incredibly easy to pick up as incredibly simple stats and inc incredibly easy dice rolls it's really improv based it's really role play and improv based so as long as your players are comfortable with doing that describing rooms and all that stuff like you can play this with anyone and it is a one shot so you don't have to worry about making an entire campaign out of this even though it would be kind of like in cool to do a, like a campaign possibly if like you were a ghost crew and you just people keep dying and you keep the show going and going and going that would be fun like i said killer ratings you can really run with anyone and not even run with people who like don't even like the idea of tabletop games like you could just run this as a fun improv session and then the last thing that i really 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 like about killer ratings is the drama the tension not only is there the tension with the ghosts and all that stuff there's also the tension between the crew between the face between the cameraman between the audio crew it's the tension of being a ghost hunter i mean we all watch those reality ghost hunting 
show is not just purely for the haunts and the ghosts. We do a lot of it because we want to see the drama between the characters. And this game does that. You really have two stats here. One is to escape the ghost. And the other one is to create drama. And even using that stat, the drama stat, to make the ghost attack someone else when you're running away. And it, it's, it's great. This is a really fun game. Like, comedy wise, like, improv wise, like, I, I just really enjoy this game if you can't, if you couldn't tell. If you want to pick up killer ratings, you can head over to Bannerless Games HIO page in which you can pick up a copy. Then, yeah, that is it. Go check out killer ratings. You're not going to regret it. I got to get out of here. My, I've noticed my views are kind of getting, getting low and not enough people are subscribing. So there's this, like, haunted, uh, children's hospital just, like, a couple miles from here. So I'm going to go, uh, grab my camera and see what I can do, you know? Got to get those views. But anyway, I'll see you guys all later. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be excellent to each other.